Oh, it's good to be a Buckeye right now. The Ohio State Buckeyes have to be making the most impressive moves this 2023-2024 offseason. I mean, they went ahead and landed the third best recruiting class in the class of 2024, bringing in guys like four-star quarterback Aaron Nolan, four-star corner Aaron Scott, five-star edge rusher Edric Houston, and the number one player in the country, Jeremiah Smith, that wide receiver. They also landed some of the biggest names from the transfer portal, bringing in guys like former Kansas State quarterback Will Howard, former Alabama five-star recruit at QB Julian Sand, another former five-star recruit at safety from Alabama Caleb Downs, and the most electric running back in the portal in Quinshawn Judkins from Ole Miss. And it already looks like they're going to be taking over the 2025 recruiting class as well. The Buckeyes already have the fourth best recruiting class in the class of 2025 and have already landed six top 100 recruits, including guys like the number nine corner Blake Woodby, the ninth best offensive tackle Carter Lowe, the fourth best quarterback in the class in Tavian St. Clair, the sixth best edge rusher Zaire Mathis, and two five-star corners in the number one and number two corner in the country, Devin Sanchez and Naeem Oford. But Ohio State's not done there. I went ahead and took a look at every player that's in the class of 2025 and any player that has a 100% crystal ball to go to Ohio State. We're going to be taking a look at them today because these are the guys that all the recruiting experts are going to say are the next ones up to become Buckeyes. This video is going to help all my Buckeye fans who want to be in the know know a little bit sooner. So hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications because we drop videos on Ohio State all the time. Plus, leave this video a like. It helps out a lot more than you will ever be able to realize. As well, comment your thoughts down below after you watch all these players' highlight tapes. Who are you most excited about landing out of these six players that we're going to be taking a look at? With that being said, let's jump straight into it and take a look at all the players that are heavily linked with the Buckeyes and see what they look like on the field. Three, two, one. Starting it off, the Buckeyes are linked with three-star defensive lineman Brandon Caesar coming out of Cleveland Heights High School. He is six foot four, 250 pounds. And right now he has a 100% crystal ball to become a Buckeye. So let's see what my guys looking like on the field. Normally with these three-star recruits, it's always interesting to see because it's like Ohio State could get as many four-star recruits as they want. I mean, whenever you look at Alabama or Georgia's recruiting classes, it's rare that they ever have a three-star recruit in there. So it, I always like seeing it when Ohio State has a couple three-star guys that are connected to them. This kid looks strong. Like I don't, I, with, with his play style, I don't see him being a guy that's, you know, he's going to be like an Aaron Donald getting you double digit sacks from this from the middle of the defensive line. But I do see this guy being somebody that can clog up running lanes and just be a big just disruptor in any type of A or B gap running schemes. Next up, the Buckeyes are linked with one of the top athletes in the country. He's also he's, he's listed as one of the best safeties and one of the best athletes in the country. This is Messiah Delome. He is six foot one and 196 pounds. And as you can see, this kid is just a versatile athlete. Ooh, hit the hole, just break, break over that. Running strong out here. Let's go. Hey, I like this kid's game. I love the way that he ran that ball right there. I love to see DBs who also play who also played some type of offense at the high school level because when you when your DBs get picked, you want them to be able to make a play happen as well. Oh, well, look at this jump cut. That is beautiful. And a boop, nope, cut back, and then he is so explosive. Dang, this kid's got some wheels. I see you, Messiah. Let's go. This kid, A, hey, he could be a guy that you really are going to want to be targeting. I could see a, a player like this just being a great overall rangy safety for the Buckeyes. Next up, the Buckeyes are linked to land the four-star edge rusher standing at six foot three, 235 pounds. My guy, London Merritt, run straight through his face. Run through his face and say, you are not going to block me. This kid just absolutely bully balled him. He's going to be playing this ball next season for his final year in high school at IMG Academy. This is a phenomenal move right here. This is just knowing how to play the position. See, just you see that he's way over committed trying to scrape down to the left. You get him. Oh, to the left. Nope. Swoop, swim over the top. Easy. That's just that, that's so beautiful because it's smooth. He's not over there like running with his hair on fire. He's just playing smooth. 
London Merritt, he is the 10th best edge rusher in the class of 2024, of 2025. And he has a great motor too. This kid is not stopping for anybody. Yo, this kid, yo. This offensive tackle, he does a decent job of trying to pin him down on his shoulder. He just throws him off of him like he's nothing. Yo, that's wild. Yo, London Merritt, yeah, hey, now we're starting to get into some of these really exciting recruits that the Buckeyes are really going to want to be targeting. Yeah, I think London Merritt so far is going to be the top guy that you're going to want to really be going after. Now, both Steve Wilfong and Tom Loy, two of the most respected recruiting experts in the game, have this player, Nate Roberts, the number one player in the state of Oklahoma. Way to break through that. And the, and the number four tight end in the country going to Ohio State. This kid is 6'4", 235 pounds. And as you can see, he can take a hit and still go take it to the house. As we all know, and if you've been watching my videos for any amount of time, you know how much I respect the tight end position. I think that the tight end position is going to be changing the game for football. Personally, I believe that wide receiver and running back is going to become kind of one in the same position. And then tight ends are going to be that more hybrid wide receiver and tight end type of play. Get off of me. Yo, this kid, hey, there's a reason why he's the number one player in the state. This kid can flat out ball. Throw it up to him in the corner. Two, little two time, let's go. Hey, I see you, Nate Roberts. And we all know Ohio State, they do a good job of recruiting, recruiting tight ends. So I think that he's gonna be, he's gonna do a great job. And he's got some wheels too. It's not like he's a slow guy. Now, Steve Wilfong, Tom Loy, and Brian Don, three of the most respected recruiting experts in the game have the number one safety in the country and the 17th best player in the class of 2025, Fahim Delane going to Ohio State. This kid is a absolute monster. He is six foot three, 195 pounds of just pure animal. This kid is flying around. He's, he is everywhere that you need him to be. I mean, look at him just absolutely take that kid out right there. Yeah, this dude, if he bulks up even a little bit more, I can see him being a great outside linebacker as well. He's got that build where if he, he, he could fill out a little bit more and be an outside linebacker, or he could just be a really big safety for the Buckeyes. I think this kid, he is just... If you guys have been paying attention to Ohio State's recruiting class, their DBs are some of the biggest DBs I've ever seen in a recruiting class. Like, I think the smallest DB that they have recruited is 5'11", 185. The rest of them are all like six foot two, 190 pounds. Like, they got some wide receivers playing DB. Closing on that, I love, I love this. I love how, look at how quickly he closes on this. Peter Patterson's feet gets into a position to make a clean tackle and then just goes and secures that. A lot of guys, they come a little bit too hot and then they're like, oh, then they end up getting that, they end up getting their ankles taken. Fahim Delane does a great job of playing under control, but also aggressive. And last but certainly not least, Steve Wilfong has the number four corner in the country and the and just a five-star recruit through, through, and through. Dorian Brew going to Ohio State. This kid is six foot two and 185 pounds at corner. If you land him, that means that you will, if you land him and Fahim Delane, that means that you will have the number one, number two, number four corners, and the number one safety all in the same recruiting class on top of the other corners and safeties that, you're, that you guys are gonna be landing. Like, this is gonna be one of the scariest DB classes that I have ever seen one team have in one recruiting class. Like, I've seen, Okay, like you landed the, like for example, uh, Coach Prime landed the number one corner in back-to-back -back recruiting classes. That's cool. I've never seen where they're getting the number, like three of the top five players at a position and then another top, top player at another position in the DB. Like that's crazy. But yeah, Dorian Brew, another one of these big body physical corners that Ohio State loves to recruit. 6'2", 185, that's a great route right there, by the way. Yeah, 6'2", 185. Like, where are you going as a wide receiver? Like, seriously. And yeah, this kid, he could play very physically.
Oh, night way to break that back inside. So those are these six players that are all have 100% recruiting analysts saying that they're going to be going to Ohio State. For me, I want you guys to comment down below right now. Who are the two players that really excited you the most? For me, I think it's quite simple. Fahim Delane and London Merritt. I think that those two guys out of the six players that we covered show that they have immediate impact potential for the Buckeyes. I just think just the way that they play with their physicality, they both got great frames that they can just build on at the college level. And they play the game extremely smart too. They play very smooth. A lot of guys, yeah, like they can play and they can make plays fast, but they don't know how to slow it down when they need to. Both of those guys show that they have extreme versatility in how they're going to be playing the game. So I'm excited to see what they look like. I'm excited to see whenever they do officially commit to Ohio State. But these are the six players that all my Buckeye fans should really keep an eye out for because over these next coming days, weeks, and just over the 2025 recruiting period, these six guys are supposed to be getting linked to go to Ohio State. But I want to hear from all y'all. Do you think that you will land all six of these guys? And if not, who are the guys that you really want to land the most? Comment that down below. Leave this video a like and hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications. We drop videos on the Buckeyes pretty much on a weekly basis at this point. And with all that being said, I love and appreciate all y'all. Nobody has told you this today. I love and appreciate you and you specifically. You're an absolute just amazing person. And I really do just love and respect everything that you do. Know that you always have somebody by your side and his name is Jesus Christ. Know that you never have to go through this world alone. Know that you always have somebody that loves you more than you will ever be able to love yourself or anybody else on this earth can ever love you. Know that you don't have to go through this world alone. Know that you have your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who's always been right there with you through every single step. And don't ever feel afraid of, I don't know what to say or I've done too many bad things. That's a beautiful thing. Jesus died knowing you were going to do all of those things just so that at some point in your life, you could find a way back to him and be reconnected with him. Always remember that. Love and appreciate all y'all. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.